parts of a plant. Plants play an important role in our lives as we depend on them for our basic needs. They provide us food, clothing, shelter and medicine. They also release oxygen gas which we need for breathing. Hence, we can say that without plants, life would not be possible on earth. There is a large variety of plants on our planet. These plants differ in their sizes, shapes, life span and other features. Let's know more about them. Types of plants Trees Trees are tall and strong plants. Branches and leaves give shape to a tree. Trees differ in height and shape. For example, coconut is a very tall tree, while mango is a medium-heighted tree. A people tree is round, whereas a shoka tree is conical in shape. Shrubs. Shrubs are short and bushy plants. Herbs. Very small plants are called herbs. Climbers. Climbers are plants with weak stems. They climb up taking the support of other plants, sticks or walls. Creepers. Plants that grow along the ground are called creepers. Parts of the plant A plant is mainly divided into two parts, root system and shoot system. Root system Root is the underground part of the plant. Root fixes the plant to the soil. It also observes water and minerals from the soil. Roots are of two types, tap root, fibrous root. Tap root Tap root is a long and thick main root that grows straight down the earth. It branches out in many small roots. Our branching roots and root hair grow sidewise. Plants like mustard, cotton, balsam, mango etc. has tap roots. Fibrous root. There is no main root in fibrous root. It is bushy in appearance. Plants like wheat, rice, grass, Onion etc. has fibrous roots. Scientific fact Water and minerals flow upward through the roots into the stem of the plants and thereafter into the leaves of the plant. Functions of the roots Roots fix the plant firmly into the soil. Roots provide water and minerals to plant which they observe from the soil. In some plants like radish, Carrot and beetroot, the food prepared by the plant is stored in the root. We eat these roots. Shoot system The shoot system includes parts such as leaves, buds, stems, flowers and roots and usually it develops above the ground. The main support of the plants above the ground is the stem. It helps the plant to stand upright. Different plants have different types of stems. Big and tall trees have a thick, woody and strong stem called trunk. We eat some of the stems, for example, ginger, potato and sugar cane. The stems of the climbers such as that of money plant, etc. are weak. They need a support to grow. Functions of the stem A stem holds the plant upright and straight. A stem carries water and salts observed by the roots. To the leaves, food for plant is prepared in the leaves. The stem carries this food to different parts of the plant. Leaves are known as kitchen of the plant. 
as they prepare food for the plant. Green leaves in the presence of sunlight change water and carbon dioxide into food. This process of making food is called photosynthesis. Leaves look green in color because they have chlorophyll in them. Without chlorophyll, the leaves cannot make food. The flat and bowed part of a leaf is called leaf plate or lamina. In the middle of the leaf is the main vein. A number of side vein arise from the main vein. On the other side of the leaf are tiny pores called stomata. Air and water can pass through these pores. Functions of leaves Green leaves prepare food with the help of air, water, carbon dioxide and sunlight. Stomata helps the leaves to take in air and release it. Sometimes excess food is stored in leaves. We eat such leaves like spinach, mint, cabbage. Scientific fact, the stomata throws out extra water from the leaves. Flowers, fruits and seeds. Flowers make a plant look beautiful. They have lovely colors and nice smell. Flowers are the reproductive part of a plant. Flowers turn into fruit. Fruits have seeds inside them. We eat the fruits of many plants. Some fruits such as mango have only one seed inside them. Some fruits such as papaya and apple have many seeds. Each seed has a baby plant inside it. Seed stores some food for the baby plant. If the seed gets air, water and warmth, the baby plant starts growing. In the beginning, it utilizes the food stored in the seed. But as it grows bigger, it grows its own leaves which make food for the whole plant.